All right. All right, the salary commission special meeting comes to order. Um, let's do the agenda approval. Is that okay for you, Mark? I make a motion that we approve the agenda as written. I second it. We're approved. And then, um, Joan, let's do roll call real quick, and then I'll note that uh, okay. Commissioner Bonker is absent. So roll call. Joan Wisman is here. You want to say if you're here or not? Oh, Mark Sav is here. Thank you. And we are missing Jim. We have a motion to excuse Jim. I make a motion we excuse Jim from today's meeting. I approve. Yeah, done. Okay. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. And um, we approve the agenda. Any public comment before we start? Okay. No one in the room. How about online? No. Okay. Review of the prior minutes. You want I, to make a motion? I make a motion that we approve the minutes from the last meeting on August 23rd. And I've reviewed them and I second that. So they're approved. Right. Cool. So next to review the salary data commission data, which um, do you want a copy of it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Um, so and we'll share the screen. Um, yep. uh, I'm sorry. Did you want me to pull up my screen? Well, I guess there's no one online. No one right? online. So never so, mind. Okay. Everyone's got okay. a copy. So any comments? Have you reviewed it? What do you think, Mark? Well, I like the fact that we added the, uh, the other cities in. So it kind of gives us a full view of what the state basically you know, of cities within our size are paying their mayors and uh, council members at this time. Uh, from what I can see, and and I'm not sure, did we in the past, and there, uh, Kyle, if you can answer this for me, when we looked at compensation, did we look at just the comp or did we take the age comp into consideration last year? We we did the aged comp. We did uh, comp the aged comp. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, that's that's what I thought. Comp. And we did remove the the cities in red, and that was a new decision, um, saying that they yep. hadn't increased it in the last four years. Yep. So um, it significantly changed the mayor's numbers. Yes. Because when I look at it, it's a fifteen percent increase, fifteen point four percent increase. If you add those cities back in. It goes to six point six percent. Right. So it's it's you know a nine percent swing. Well, it, it skews it skews down because they haven't shown any increases over the last five years. But we aged it to increase. So, um. So I, to me, it's a big swing. When I look at the the um, council. It goes from seven point two percent down to six point seven, so it's only a half a percent of swing. Gotcha, gotcha. But the mayor's is nine percent swing, which is huge. Yeah. And I know that we did it in theory, thinking that that was the right thing to do, mm -hmm. but it changes our data so much, and I'm like, that's a huge increase. That I almost want to keep with the current process and keep them all in and then look at it again next year and if next year still has that swing then okay then we're consistent and we're doing it i just i'm hesitant to make that decision and then all of a sudden the number goes huge right i don't okay. know i don't know that that makes sense to me because we at least at a minimum are going to increase ours two and a half percent because we age the data so right. i know at least two and a half percent right. Is built we, into it. It's built in. Um, but we took out last year, I think we took out West Richland. Is that correct? Yes. That's correct. Yeah. That was because of the size of the city. Yeah. So when we look at um, Monroe, it's, and I don't understand Monroe's because it's got 20,000 people, but they did a decrease in the salary of $400 in 2023, which I usually never see a decrease. Right. The only thing that I can think is that yeah. there, so the mayor was getting 4,000 a month. 
Yeah. And I think if they did a salary study of like cities, they would have found Houston. that they were way over, way over. Yeah. Because the only other city is Oak Harbor and they're at 25,000 population, but they don't even, um, they're full-time employees. So we're right. not including right. that data. So I, I went, so what I did was I took out Monroe Okay. Just thinking, okay, well, I took out West Virginia, and it came up to be an 11%. If we did everybody, then it would be an 11% versus 15. Okay. So uh, I'm between, <laughs> I think I'm okay on the council because there's more data points. Yeah. It's because there's more data points, taking those cities out didn't skew it that much. Right. On the mayors, it really skewed it a lot. And I think it's just because it's a smaller data set. So this is the the math problem that I was hoping Jim would be here for. Right. <laughs> um, so if we just look at council, to me, the increase is 7.2. Or if we take the removed out, it's 6. Point, or with the removed, if all of them, it's 6.7. With with the removed people at 7.2, it does increase it a half a percent. So to me, I'm between 6.7 and 7.2 on that one, okay. which is not a huge Right, difference. that's small. That's small. Um, and we can split the difference and just say a 7% increase and see where it goes next year as a, as a consideration. On the mayors, I really think a 15% increase is too much. Be, and I think it's because we changed the data set, not that um, not that other cities have increased 15%, right, right. if that makes sense. So, um, but I don't know where I'm at on that one. We could do both at 7% and then look at the data next year is a possibility because if we took with all of them that are removed using last year's theory, we would use 6.6%. Mm -hmm. Sure. Does that make sense? And again, we can round, <laughs> you know, yeah. 720 to 725 or whatever we want to do or whatever the number comes out to be. Right. But um, I'm more inclined to do, let's say 7%, that's, on the council, that seems to make sense between the removed and not removed. And the mayor seems too skewed and that we should just use the council's number for that and reevaluate next year to me, you know, and if it's still really high, then we should, we should do that next year. Okay. What do you just a minute here. It's You said 7%, correct? Uh, yeah. For both? Yeah. Okay. And we're using and we're using the age, age uh, comp, correct? No, we would take the... We would take the base. Yep, the base. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. That's what I was... Yep. We take the base off of... So the mayor, so, um, the mayor would go to 26, 70, 26, 75 for the mayor. Correct. Yeah. And the, uh, council would go to, I would say 880. It's 57, four. Yeah. 880. So 880 for the council. Hey, to round it up. Yep. Yep. Just making an even number. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah, but then we ought to make a note in our in our minutes to, you know, skew it, you know, take a look at it next year. More re prevalent next year, yeah, with all the numbers in. It, it just identify that in the mayor, um, that we really need to evaluate that and maybe do a little bit more research with Monroe and or you know some of those just yeah. to say why did you decrease and why yes. haven't you increased to just Certainly. make sure that we we feel more solid on that data yeah um and try to get these other places to and you never know the ones that, the <laughs> exactly. ones that we took out 
they might they might be having the same meeting we're having today. Yeah, you know, exactly. And, and, and realize that oh hell, we haven't paid our people in five six years. I mean, some of them are huge. I know, but it's... then again, we didn't do it for eight to ten years or something like You're that right. for a while too. Right. So yeah, we could always call them and say, "Have you ever thought about a salary commission?" Right. <laughs> Um, okay, do you want to make that recommendation? I make a recommendation that we increase the uh, mayor's comp and council's comp by 7%. The mayor will go from 2500 to 2675. Council will go from 820 to 880. And I second that recommendation, and we will finalize it at the uh, public hearing. Public hearing. Correct. Yep. When Jim is there. Um, is that good? Okay. Uh, yeah. So prior to adjournment, I would like to get a preliminary indication of when we want to hold the public hearing. Oh, sure. So we do need two weeks, at least from today, to notice it properly. Yep. And so I think the earliest uh, that we would be able to do it is towards the end of the first week of October uh, or that following week, anytime. Uh, are you talking the week of the 7th? I'm going to be out of town unless we do it on that Monday. Can we do it October 15th on a Tuesday? No, that's council meeting. October 16th? Um, yes. And so what I'll do is so we're going to uh, distribute uh, preliminary budget binders to city council the week of the 15th. Okay. Um, so you so can... we've done this before. And so what I would do is I would plug these recommendations in and I can always go back and, yeah. and issue a, a, an amendment to the preliminary budget for council consideration. If, if our recommendation does not hold. So, or could we do it Would October 3rd, that Thursday be better? Oh, uh, we can do that. Yeah. That would that get enough time of public comment? Yep. So let's just say October third. Let's say ten o'clock again, and if Jim can't make it, we'll adjust it from the third or later. Sure, that sounds good. And I'll reach out to him today to confirm his availability for that day. Okay. Does that work for you, Mark? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. All righty. Any public comment? No. Okay. Anything online? No. no. Anything else that we need to discuss? No. So yeah, we'll just have um, we'll have kind of our standard presentation that we do uh, yeah. every time, just reviewing. I know we we did this back in August, but we will do it again. Just um, just yeah. for anybody in attendance, we'll we'll review our process. We'll review the data collection, and I'll send all that updated information to you. Perfect. We'll, in we'll, that PowerPoint, yeah. where you include about us making that change yes. to the process. And that um, at some point in that presentation, we say we took it into consideration, but we want to review it for a second year for consistency Perfect. before we go there. Yes. The yep. So, yep, we'll include all that and then we'll take uh, testimony and then um, we'll make an official uh, ruling from there. So. Right. But you can at least plug this into the budget. For yes. Going yep. Forward. All right. Anything else? Make a We're adjourned. We're adjourned. Excellent. All right. Thank you.